that you should be here. Hey guys, it's Taylor, and if you hadn't noticed, I finally got a bookshelf! Jesse, stop it. My sister's on the other side, and she's watching me film this, and she's making weird faces. Hi! She's judging me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I have a new bookshelf, and I decided in order to commemorate this lovely thing. By the way, thanks mom and dad for realizing that I probably shouldn't store my books in boxes. You know, it might be a bit weird. So they got me this lovely shelf that I will show to you now. So maybe we should start the door? Jesse's gonna stand behind me and like hold me while I stand on the stool for the top shelves yeah. to make sure I don't fall and die. And you don't want me just like stand behind you and just hold you? Well, no, not now. Don't do it now. <laughs> this is not how it works. Go ahead, go ahead. So, without further ado, let's begin the bookshelf tour! So, as you can see, I am shaking because I am on a stool. That's happening. So, this is my top shelf. These are all non-fiction books. So, we have here my little sorority pen, Delta Delta Delta, and I put it there because it's cute. So, the shelf is... The shelf is shared between me and my sister, so we have some writing books here. We've got writing science fiction, how to create out of this world novels and short stories. Uh, and I guess it's by Orson Scott Card, Philip Athens, Jay Lake, and the editors of Writer's Digest. <laughs> then we've got writing monsters. And then that's how to craft believably terrifying creatures to enhance your horror, fantasy, and science fiction by Philip Athens. Then we've got the Plot Whisperer by, oh, the Plot Whisperer Secrets of Story Structure Any Writer Can Master by Martha Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> you want to redo that last one? <laughs> no, it's fine. Look at this freaking bookshelf! We got a lot of books here. That's how they do it on book two. The TV Writer's Workbook, A Creative Approach to Television Scripts by <laughs> Tom, this thing hasn't bolted down yet, by Ellen Sandler, Saves the Cat, The Last Book on Screenwriting That You'll Ever Need by Blake Snyder, How to Write a Movie in 21 Days, The Inner Movie Method, How to Get Your- Wow, this has a lot of, like, things. How to Get the Movie in Your Heart onto the Page by Vicki King. Creating characters, how to build story people. Story people? <laughs> Taylor, leave him alone. Come on, he's just trying to write. <laughs> Let him do what he wants. Dwight B. Swain. By Dwight B. Swain. 45 master characters, mythic models for creating original characters by Victoria Lynn Schmidt. Honestly, no, you gotta hold me. No, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Hold. A writer's guide to characterization. Archetypes, Heroic Journeys, and Other Elements of Dynamic Character Development by Victoria Lynn Schmidt. Body Trauma, A Writer's Guide to Wounds and Injuries by David W. Page, MD. Cause of Death, A Writer's Guide to Death, Murder, and Forensic Medicine by Keith D. Wilson, MD. Scene of the Crime, A Writer's Guide to Crime Scene Investigations by Anne Wingate, PhD. Writing Science Fiction and Fantasy by Crawford Killian. Write and Revise for Publication by Jack Smith. Writing the Fiction Series, The Complete Guide for Novels and Novellas. Your Life is a Book, How to Craft and Publish Your Memoir by Brenda Peterson and Sarah Jane Freeman. Creating Characters, The Complete Guide to Popularizing Your Fiction uh, from the editors of Writer's Digest. Stephen King on Writing, A Memoir of the Craft. I can't put this back. Just leave it. Just okay. leave it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the writer's devotional by I can't read that. Three. By Amy Peters. Shaded Lives, African American Women and Television by Beretta E. Smith Shamade. Television History and American Culture, Feminist Critical Essays, edited by Mary Beth Harolovich and Lauren Rabinovitz. Pursuits of Happiness, The Hollywood Comedy of Remarriage by Stanley Cavill. Hollywood Genres, Formulas Filmmaking and the Studio System by Thomas Schatz. How to Be a Heroine or What I've Learned from Reading Too Much by Samantha Ellis. Bad Feminist by Roxanne Gay. We Should All Be Feminist by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. 
The Walking Dead Psychology, Psych of the Living Dead, by edited by Travis Langley, a book of useless information. It's a squirrel. How to Be a Victorian, A Dawn to Dusk a Guide to Victorian Life by Ruth Goodman. Queen Victoria, A Life by Lid Lidden Stratch. Str Queen Victoria Life by Lidden Stratchy. Drop Dead Healthy, One Man's Humble Request for Bodily Perfection by A.J. Jacobs. The Year of Living Biblically, One Man's Humble Request to Follow the Bible as Literally as Possible by A.J. Jacobs. Now write! Screenwriting. <laughs> Screenwriting. <laughs> what was that? Oh, Screenwriting Exercises from Today's Best Writers and Teachers, edited by Sherry Ellis. I Am Malala, The Girl Who Stood Up for Education and Was Shot by the Taliban by Malala Yousafzai with Christina Lamb. Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow. America Again, Rebecoming the Greatness We Never Warned by Stephen Colbert. And here we have my historical fiction shelf. You see for my little thing on here, it's a little Aztec temple that one of my former co-workers got for me for, well, no reason really. She went to Mexico and she brought it for me and it was really nice of her. First on my shelf, we have The Help by Catherine Stockett. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Darr. Cold, Mount Cold Mountain, a novel by Charles Frazier. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. The Fortune Hunter by Daisy Goodwin. A Crimson Warning by Tasha Alexander. The Crimson Room by Catherine McMahon. Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. Somewhere in France by Jennifer Robson. A Train in Winter by Caroline Moorhead. Catherine, The Great Journey by Christiana Gregory. Royal Diaries, Marie Antoinette, Princess of Versailles by Catherine Lasky. Victoria, May Bossom of Britain Britannia by, by Anna Kirwan. The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. City of Thieves by David Benioff. Daughter of Sequel and the... Daughter of Sequel? Daughter of Sequel. Daughter of Fortune and the Sequel, Portrait in Sepia by Isabel Allende. Fever, 1793 by Lori Hals Anderson. America's First Daughter by Stephanie Dre and Laura Camoy. The Other Boleyn Girl by Philippa Gregory. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Girl Waits with Gun, a Cop Sisters novel by Amy Stewart. Atonement by Ian McEwan. Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosne. And finally for this shelf, we have Outlander by Diana Galba Galbadon? Galbadon? Someone tell me how to pronounce her last name. And now we have my classics shelf. And these are actually all in alphabetical order with the exception of these here. So I'm just going to go through them. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. 101... <laughs> 101 Fairy Tales by the Brothers Grimm, Dracula by Bram Stoker, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, The Arrestia, which contains Agamemnon, the, li the Libation Bearers, wow, the Agamemnon, the Libation Bearers, the Eumenides, and Fragments of Protus by Ashlutz, Ashlutz, that guy. I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. Songs of Innocence and of Experience by William, Bla by William Blake. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. My beat up copy of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. The Good Earth by Pearl S. Buck. Bullfinch's Mythology by Thomas Bullfinch. A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. The Divine Comedy by Dante, which includes Inferno, Purgatory, and Paradiso. My two copies of Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. My other copy of The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert. E.M. Forrester, A Room with a View. Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. And then on the shelf we have more classics. The Snows of Kilimanjaro by Ernest Hemingway. The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. 
Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, Four Major Plays by Ibsen, Volume 1. Those plays include A Dollhouse, The Wild Duck, Hedda Gabler, 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 and The Master Builder. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston LaRue, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell, Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, 1984 by George Orwell, The Murders in the Rue Morgue, The Dupont, Dupin Stories, Dupont Stories by Edgar Allan Poe, All Quiet on the Western Front by Eric Maria Remarque, Cyrano de Bergerac by Edmund Rostand, and here we have more books, and then we have Shakespeare, The Bard's Guides to Abuses and Affronts, then we've got this little pocket Shakespeare, he's got his book, he's just kind of chilling with his other books, so let's kind of move them aside for the purpose of this video. Next we've got Sonnets by Shakespeare, it's there on the spine, see it? Then we've got The Tempest by William Shakespeare. Then we've got three versions of the Oedipus Trilogy by Sophocles. So we've got Antigone, Oedipus the King, and Oedipus at Colonus. The Pearl by John Steinbeck. War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. The Color Purple by Alice Walker. And for the last of my classics, we have Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. On the shelf, we also have a little painting that my big gave me, and it says Dream Big Little One, because she's my big and I'm her little. Ha ha! Oh, that was an awkward laugh. Forget that happened. Now we've got this shelf, which is specifically my Jane Austen shelf. Uh, so we're going to go through all of the books I have here. It's, it's a long list. We've got Love and Friendship and other early works by Jane Austen. We've, next, we've got this bind-up of four novels by Jane Austen, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Emma, and Northanger Abbey. Next, we've got these two copies of Sense and Sensibility. And now we've got three copies of Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, two editions of Emma, three copies of Persuasion, which is, by the way, my all-time favorite novel, Pride and Prejudice, the graphic novel, the manga, I don't know if the glare is getting in the way, the manga version of Pride and Prejudice, the manga version of Emma, The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennet by Bernie Sue and Kate Rorick, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith, The Jane Austen Pocket Bible, Everything You Need to Know About Jane and Her Novels by Holly Evans, The Mysterious Death of Miss Jane Austen by Lindsay Ashford, oh no, everything fell. The Wicked Wit of Jane Austen, Jane Austen, an Illustrated Biography, and finally for this show, What Would Jane Do? Quips and Wisdom from Jane Austen. And now we have uh, the beginning of my fantasy shelf. You see we have little Snape here. Isn't he adorable? I just got him the other day and he's great. I'm just gonna put him on the other shelf. We've got the Harry Potter books first. You can see how loved they are. They're basically destroyed because I read them so many times as a kid. Or not as a kid, as a preteen. We've got, obviously, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. All, of course, done by JK, written by J.K. Rowling. And now we've got the rest of this shelf. Uh, we have, as you can see, a lot of Sarah J. Mass. The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. Throne of Glass. Crown of Midnight. Heir of Fire. Queen of Shadows. And in the Court of Thorns and Roses series, uh, we have, and I'm currently reading it right now, A Court of Thorns and Roses, and of course, A Court of Mi oh. and of course, A Court of Mist and Fury. Next, we have The Wrath and the Dawn duology by Rene Adier. We've got the first book, The Wrath and the Dawn, and the second book, The Rose and the Dagger. Next, I've got Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray, the second book in the Diviner series. I lent the first book to a friend, but, but don't worry, when she comes over to the West Coast, I will get that book back from her, and it will be home in my new bookshelf. Next, we've got Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, and Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Next, we've got more fantasy books and series. We've got the first two books in the Seven Realms series by Cinda Williams Chima. 
we have the Demon King and the Exiled Queen, The Red of Queen by Victoria Aveyard, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, The Mortal Instrument City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, Eon by Allison Goodman, Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, Graceling by Kristen Cashor, The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury, Next, we've got Trickster's Queen and Trickster's Choice by Tamora Pierce. We've got The Monstromologist and The Isle of Blood by Ricky Yancey. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. The Color of Magic by Terry Pratchett. The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. Solace by Gail Carriger. And we have My Fantasy Shelf Continued. We've got Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, Spirit and Dust by Rosemary Clement Moore, the first and last book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, The Lightning Thief and the Last Olympian, the first book in the Kane Chronicles, The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan, and this one is actually signed right there, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and its sequel, Hollow City, by Ransom Riggs. The Amulet of Samarkand, book one of the Bart Bartimaeus Trilogy, by Jonathan Stroud. The Lovely Bones, by Alice Sebold. Dorothy Must Die, and the sequel, The Wicked Will Rise, by Danielle Page. American Gods, by Neil Gaiman. The Princess Bride, by William Goldman. The Hobbit and the Fellowship of the Ring, by J.R.R. Tolkien. Ella Enchanted, by Gail Carson Levine. Nightfall by Jay Calpern and Peter Kujawinski, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, and The Rook by Daniel O'Malley. I also have on the end here, I also have on the end here my manatee. It's a tea infuser shaped like a manatee and it's super cute. One of my sorority sisters gave it to me for Christmas, so thanks Megan. And now we have my sci-fi and dystopian shelf. So. Uh, you can see I have my little El Effie. She just came in today, actually. I think she's really cute. Effie is actually my favorite character from The Hunger Games besides Haymitch because I actually ship the two of them together. And I wanted to buy a Haymitch Pop Funko or Funko Pop, whatever they're called. But unfortunately, they don't have any, which I think is a travesty because now they can't be together. So first up on my shelf, we have The Hunger Games Trilogy uh, by Suzanne Collins. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Next we have The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Next we have the first three books in the Lunar Chronicles. Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress, all by Marissa Meyer. Legend by Marie Lu. The first two books in the Partial Sequence, Partials and Fragments, both by Dan Wells. Divergent by Veronica Roth. The Road by Cormac McCarthy. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. The Giver by Lois Lowry. The Supernaturalist by Eon Kofler. The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey. Maze Runner by James Dashner. The Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Maximum Ride, The Angel Experiment by James Patterson. Dueled by Elsie Chapman. Animorphs number 29, The Sickness. Animorphs number 36, The Mutation. Both of those were by K.A. Applegate. Next we have my more contemporary shelf. The one exception would be Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, but other than that, I believe everything is relatively contemporary. We've got To All the Boys I Loved Before and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. And Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I actually have Eleanor in Park, but I loaned it to my friend and she's actually in London right now, so I won't be getting that back until late August. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Madsen. How to Be a Chicana Role Model by Michelle C Cerros. The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. The Good Luck of Right Now by Matthew Quick. The Greatest Zombie Movie Ever by Jeff Strand. The Earth, My Butt, and Other Big Round Things by Carolyn Mackler. Top 8 and What's Your Statis by Katie Finn. 
Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, High Society by Ali Carter, I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, Two Copies of Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, Life of Pi by Jan Martel, Ripper by Isabel Allende, Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Saffron Farr. Now I've got to hold the camera because this is too low for my tripod. Next we've got The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins, The, Cuckoo, the Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, Invisible Boy by Cornelia Reed, The Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood, The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan, Room by Emma Donahue, The Table of Less Valued Nights by Marie Phillips, Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. Gaines. Hate. Hate. The Blood of Flowers by Anita Amarizvani. I hope I spelled that correctly. I pro or I hope I pronounced that correctly. I probably didn't. Shanghai Girls by Lisa C. Snowflower and the Secret Fan by Lisa C. Weed Flower by Cynthia Kadohara. This is actually nonfiction, but it's my sister's book, and it's Falling Leaves by Adeline Yen Ma. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. <sighs> Rebels, City of Indra, The Story of Lex and Livia by Kendall and Kylie Jenner. Geek Charming by Robin Palmer. Night Watch by Sergei La Larvayenko. I Luke. Lukiavenko, I hope I pronounced it right. I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak. Dear Killer by Catherine Ewell. Murder on the Orient Express and then and and then there were none by Agatha Christie. It's Not the End of the World by Judy Bloom. Life, Love, and the Pursuit of Free Throws by Jeanette Rallison. Some really old and beat up R.L. Stein Fear Street novels, The Stepsister 2, and Switched. And over here, desperately trying to keep the books up, we have a candle that my big gave to me. And it's super cute, and I don't want to light it and ruin it. So it's here for now. Next, we've got comic books, graphic novels, journals, and one other special, special thing that will show up later. Ah, we've got the Walking Dead comics, book one and book six. Miss Marvel, volume one, and Miss Marvel, volume three. Gotham Academy Volume 1, Welcome to Gotham Academy. Rat Queens Volume 1, Sass and Sorcery. Star Trek Countdown to Darkness. Hellboy, Seed of Destruction. Steven Universe and the Crystal Gems, Issue 2. Lumberjanes, Beware the Kitten Holy. Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. And next we have some journals. So we have, ah, this one which says a fortunate find and then it has saying, like it has words but I can't really read it right now. Then we have this pretty journal that my friend gave to me and it says, you have the potential to make beautiful things. Then I have this little notebook and this really pretty notebook. Then we've got this little painting that my big gave to me and it says classy girls wear pearls because the stone of the Tridel of Tridelta is a pearl. And then finally here, or in terms of books, or the last book on this shelf is the Hamilton. Hamilton, The Revolution by Lin-Manuel Miranda and Jeffrey McCarter. Next we have my smaller shelf. So on top of it we have my sorority paddle that my little gave to me. It says Big Sis Little Sis and it has the dolphin and the three triangles and little uh, pansies here and a flower there. And then on the back it says my name and it's really cute and pretty. Next, I have a shield that I got uh, at an event uh, with Rick Riordan. Um, it was like a premiere event for Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. It's really cool and I love it and you can actually wear the shield even though it's styrofoam so you can't actually, you know, protect yourself with it but I think it's still really cool so I put it up here. Next we have some more nerd slash sorority stuff. This is the little Bob's Burgers Funko Pop I gave my sister for Christmas, I believe. I think it's really cute. He's holding a burger, he's got some arm hair, and then he's got the bald spot in the back. So I like putting it here. We have another painting that my big gave to me. It's the Tri-Delta 
slogan motto, it's let us steadfastly love one another. We've got the little Steven Universe drinking water bottle that I gave my younger sister uh, for getting into her performing arts high school. And then we also have this thing that my big painted and it's my initials. Next we have a few of my DVDs, not all of them, but these are some that I decided to store in here. So I'm not going to take them all out, but we, or actually maybe I will. Apparently DVDs don't stand up as well on their own as they should. We've got Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. We've got all four of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. All eight of the Harry Potter movies, Hunger Games, and Hunger Games Catching Fire over here, Avatar The Last Airbender Book 2, Earth, Volume 2, Game of Thrones, the complete first season. With the Wind, my favorite movie of all time. Pride and Prejudice, one of my other favorite movies. Atonement, another one of my favorite movies. Mel Brooks, Blazing Saddles. This is a really funny movie, actually. I highly recommend it. Inglorious Bastards. Next, we've got the original Nancy Drew movie mysteries from the 1930s. They're really cute and really funny, so I highly recommend them. Prince of Egypt, another underrated film that I highly recommend. Moulin Rouge, West Side Story, Les Mis, the 25th anniversary live taping of The Phantom of the Opera at the Royal Albert Hall. I highly recommend this. This is honestly one of the best things I've ever seen in my whole life. Raman Karimlu is brilliant, and Sierra ba Bages, Bages, she's also perfect, so I highly recommend this to anyone who likes musicals or who likes things that are kind of creepy and, I don't know, if you like listening to nice sounding voices and a good plot, then watch this. We have Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber on Fleet Street. This is a live taping of the musical and it's really good. I also highly recommend it. It's a really dark sense of, it has a really dark sense of humor, but it's really creepy and scary and funny and it's actually a lot of fun to analyze and watch. I actually kind of like it better than the Tim Burton film, even though I, the Tim Burton film will always have a special place in my heart. Next we have my uh, travel mug from my university. And finally we have another painting by, that was given to me by my big of my sorority uh, signal, or not signal, of my sorority, Delta, 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 Delta. And that's my bookshelf tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it was long and maybe a bit awkward, uh, but I am, it took a long time. It took me like two hours to film. So I'm happy I don't have to do this again for another year. But yeah, if you want, you can like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video later. Bye.